you. Oh my days. <laughs> Oh my days. Bonjour. Don't let the fact that we just got ourselves an 89 player moments Olivier Giroud for about 100,000 coins for that time that he scored a spicy little overhead kick against Atletico Madrid distract you from the fact that a 98 team of the year Robert Lewandowski is currently selling for under 1 million coins on both PlayStation and Xbox. That's crazy. What's up, boys, and welcome to the 89 player moments Olivier Giroud, aka the Scorpion King, an SBC I was not expecting on a Monday, an upgrade I was not expecting on a Monday either. Four star skill moves, he goes from three star, three star, all the way up to four star. He gets a plus 47 total pace upgrade, as well as a total of 386 total in game stats over his base card, which is basically a non usable card. The pace, if I'm not mistaken, on the base Olivier Giroud is 39. He's got 39 pace, he's got 34 acceleration, goes up to 86 pace, 80 acceleration 90 sprint speed had 43 sprint speed on the base card and this is a card that is not going to make everyone's team uh you know some people might even complain that it's a little bit lackluster um you know, they're going to complain about the pace split they're going to complain maybe about the the dribbling stats all of which we're going to take a look at in a second here but this is just you know every now and again ea's got to put out something that's a little bit fun he's 95k he's like 90 to 95k he's super cheap it's one spc set 85 rated and for those of you guys that love olivier giroud uh the character that he is and everything that comes with an olivier giroud this might might be an SPC for you, and uh, we absolutely love the guy. Has the medium medium, which is a little bit, you know, for some people that might be a turnoff. I have him on getting behind, and usually for strikers that have a medium medium work rate, that doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. But today we're going to find out if this left-footed mad lad is uh, possibly worth 90 or 95k. Fun little update, Fatal is starting next weekend, so you guys have that to look forward to. Smash like on the, smash like on the epi for the beginning of Fatal. In my opinion, the most fun series that I'm ever a part of. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Smash like for Giroud if you guys remember the scorpion kick that he scored in the Premier League. And smash like for the goal that he did against Atletico Madrid. Some people say maybe a basic overhead, over the head bicycle kick, uh, but for the moment, it was pretty damn crazy. Uh, so let's Let's just, as they say, dive right into it. His name, Olivier Giroud. Skill moves, now has four. Left-footed, medium, medium. Uh, the stats that we're going to look at, 80 acceleration goes up to 85 with the engine. 90 sprint speed goes up to 95. So his, his pace split is 85 and 95. I think that's pretty damn decent. 92 attack positioning is elite. 91 finishing is elite. 95 shot power is damn elite with 97 volleys, 94 penalties. It's a player moment, so the volleys make sense. Uh, his passing stats aren't great, uh, which is why you might want to use an engine chem style. Vision goes over 90. Short passing goes up to 90. And then uh, long passing goes 75. And then curve goes 88. So we're talking 88 curve, uh, 90 short pass and then vision of 91 which is pretty decent again it's one of the things you might want to use him as possibly as a uh, as a as a center forward of sorts and then we get over to the dribbling stats 83 agility on a big man isn't the uh isn't the kith of, uh, kith isn't the kiss of death so he goes up to what is that 83 plus 5 is 88 so he goes up to 88 agility which is decent 91 balance 92 reactions 88 ball control is very good again for a big guy and then he goes up to 92 dribbling which is the main reason why i want to be using the engine with 88 composure so uh if we're talking the engine chem style the dribbling stats go from a little bit you know sort of meh for a big guy to you know possibly uh possibly usable and good so we're going to test that out in game and then we go over to his uh we go over to his defending stats 99 head and accuracy 93 jumping 80 stamina again meh maybe you know, it's not a guy you're going to use as a super sub but if you know if if headers are your thing and you figured out the header meta Giroud might be a guy that you bring on late in the game 95 strength with 89 aggression and the outside the foot shot trade so I think a pretty decent little card man I don't think it's a bad card for 95 uh for, for 95k I mean it's pretty damn cheap again yeah you don't get any packs back because it's a it's a one slot SPC but it's fun four star right four star skill moves uh, uh plus 47 pace increase and again like I said if you've ever been a fan of Olivier Giroud uh, this is an SPC that you're going to get done. Christian Eriksen, officially playing football again, returned to the Premier League, has gone to Brentford, which you love to see. We're going to give Kiar some more minutes. We're going to give Lautaro Martinez some more minutes. We're going to be playing uh, Olivier Giroud alongside Lautaro in a 4-1-2-1-2 with Giroud being the left striker and shooting crossbody when, he, when he's in on net. So without any further ado, boys, match to Moron with an absolute legend, Olivier Giroud, Vafanculo. Is that, is that Hernandez? And see, that's why that's why people play the that, that's why people play. Because Casper Schmeichel just make his. <laughs> that's why people again. Uh, uh, that's why people play. That's why people pay the premium for uh, for Teo Hernandez. He's absolutely nuts. Jurudinho. Is 
content. Char sticking with Ronaldo every every uh, every step of the way there and making a nice little uh, make, making a nice little run. Four star skill moves now. Can do the Burba. Can you score that? Okay, Olivier Giroud, we see you. Does he have the custom celebration? He's got the custom Scorpion King celebration still. Let's go, boys. It's actually hilarious what it takes for me to geek out over a virtual card still. Um, I absolutely love that. I love that he's still got his Scorpion King celebration. Does he have distance bank? He's only got 80 long shots. Okay. One of these. Lautaro. Left analog. One of those. And then just a rip. Lautaro Martinez, again, he's got his own custom celebration as well. He's going to go ahead. Who coined it first, Louis or him? Louis, no, Le Le Levy does something different. And this guy's done. Didn't get a chance to do too many things with uh, with Olivier Giroud, but I can tell you right off the bat, his finishing is not a problem. Look at, the, look at, this, look at the absolute state of Olivier Giroud coming in there with the plus... 47 uh, pace increase. Let's see if we can wiggle around a little bit more with a four-star skill move, Olivier Giroud. God, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Giroud feels pretty good with the dribbling. Left analog strip dribbling. Again, he's got the. He can do this now. He can do that. He can do a saucy burba. Could you imagine? Could you imagine the absolute scenes? Nice, Gordon Pandev. What's the pace looking like on Giroud? Yeah, so he's, I mean, he's not going to burn, especially with the acceleration, he's not going to burn a Juan Cuadrado. That's tough. And again, that's just FIFA being an idiot. that goes in. I don't know what I've just seen. Is he out of here? Yeah, he's gone. Damn, dude. He leaves at 1-1. This is the kind of player that's in rivals these days. You concede one goal and, you know, how about a life lesson for the Mad Lads, dude? You know, it, it gets a little bit difficult. You concede a trash goal, so what? Pick yourself up by the boots, by the bootstraps and, and keep going, bro. Damn, dude, I don't like that. This soft mentality. I mean, like, listen, I would have been, I guess I would have been upset too, but um, okay, let, let's take a look at the replay. Here's Olivier Giroud with the silky skill moves, right? One of those. Then he does a cheeky Burba. Go back, do another little Burba, and then he shoots it. <laughs> no shot. Oh, it's off the foot. Who is that? Off the foot of his, uh, is that Petit? And then his, his Wojnia Szczesny just is not up to the challenge. <laughs> Right, Gir Girodinho again. I, I don't, again. Nice. Shot power in the finishing. Gets there with the Koza. Again, one of those SPCs that I wholeheartedly regret not doing. You know, waiting for Olivier Giroud. His attack positioning looking pretty, uh, looking pretty good. One of these. Giroud. The shot power is nuts. He's got a crazy shot on him, dude. I want that to be in the back of the net. I might have overpowered that, to be honest. Because a lot of people will write off Giroud before they even give him a shot just because of his height and his work rates. Um, get in behind usually solves that for me. Nice little... Uh, there's, there's Goran Pandev. Olivier Giroud uh, didn't uh, meant to do his custom celebration. A lovely, I, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was going wide. Lautaro, nice little pass. Wait for the opening, right? Wait for a cheeky opening. Don't know where it's gonna come from. Yeah. Oh my days! Tell me, there's something, there's something about Olivier Giroud that uh, meets more than the eye. Again, I think that's more just a trash FIFA goal, to be honest with you, but uh, does have ridiculous strength. Yo, dude, honestly, Nep said it best on his tweet, dude. Fun.
This is just a fun card. Not everyone is going to complete it. You can already tell by the footbin comments and uh, the footbin like ability. Some people say, you know, dead card and, you know, dead card in January or whatnot. It's, for me, it's not about that, dude. For me, it's about an Olivier Giroud card, which you might even play better with because you have an emotional connection with him. So... Yo, guys, don't sleep on the Giroud card. I'm telling you right now, man, some cards, some of you guys let cards slip by the wayside just because it has a certain set of stats and you're like, yeah, you can't happiest boy ever. It doesn't look like he's the happiest boy ever. He just rage quit against us. But uh, an emotional, emotional match from Olivier Giroud. Three goals and, in my opinion, has been, has, has far exceeded expectations. I was not expecting him to feel this good on the ball. Has the beard. Look at the chip, and then the slow motion replay, things you'd love to see. It's like the 30 frames per second replay. Donnarumma just doesn't stand a chance. Was that Koza? Right, because he's ginger, so that's that's 100% Koza. So Koza tries to defend him, but because of the strength disparity, uh, Olivier Giroud just kind of bangs in and then rips that top right. And Olivier Giroud, again, uh, we're going to use plenty of missile sound effects with the goals that he scored that we scored with him uh, in this epi, and there's his custom celebration. So this is a uh, little, uh, little bit of Olivier Giroud left-hand long stick dribbling, and then uh, uses that strength to keep off, I believe, I think Kempembe, uh, and says, not today, sir. We're at that stage in the game where there's so many nuts cards out right now. We've got, Lewin, we've got Lewandowski, who's under a million. I'm going to go so far, I'm going to say four and a half out of five in terms of value. Sure, you could, spe you could throw that 90 to 95,000 coins into a mid-eye on SPC and get someone absolutely trash back. Sure, you could submit that into a portion uh, of another player SPC, and by all means, if you're trying to get the Lautaro or the Harry Kane done or one of these players, go ahead and submit the, that fodder. But if you're just having, to, if you're just happen to, uh, if you're just looking to have a little bit of fun with an absolute legend, uh, I don't think this Olivier Giroud is going to let you down. Again, engine chem style is the one I recommend. Goes up to 92 dribbling. You definitely want that, and the agility minimal uh, you want is something over 85 plus. This goes up to 88 with the engine. In terms of on the pitch performance, he did everything that I was asking of him. I mean, like, is he the craziest card in the game? No, but it's just a fun, uh, it's just a fun card and uh, was actually more surprising to me, uh, was actually very surprising to me, to be honest. Like I said, the strength Burba, the fact that he's got the four-star skill moves, it's the entire package for me. I'm going to give it a four to five on the Infinity Gauntlet uh, as well. I mean, again, it's an Olivier Giroud. I can't give him anything less than four to five on both uh, value and uh, in terms of both value and on the pitch performance. And like I said, guys, if there's an SPC that you're looking to get done that takes precedent, uh, go ahead and get that one done. And then if you have some excess fodder and you're just looking you're just trying to have a little bit of fun again this is for Giroud fanboys this is if you're a Chelsea or an Arsenal uh, supporter it's there for 13 days so you got some time to get it done and uh, in my opinion just a fun fun card four star skill moves has more sprint speed than he's ever had on any card, I think, in any FIFA ever. And is pretty good on the dribble and ridiculous, ridiculous physical. So that is going to do it for the episode, you boys. If you guys did enjoy, smash like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Update.